This is way harder than I thought it was gonna be. <sighs> hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a small YouTuber tag. Um, I noticed I've posted videos, a few videos, but I haven't posted a sit down video where everyone can get to know me. I know some of my followers or subscri subscribers were actually people that had already been originally following me or family and friends, so they obviously know me. Um, but other people that have recently subscribed, I'm sure they're just like, who the fuck is this? I have a list of questions. Um, I'm probably gonna mess up. Like I said, I'm not too comfortable like talking directly to the camera, but gotta start somewhere right so the first question is what is your name Marina Salinas um, and that is my YouTube uh, channel's name I wasn't really looking to find like a Marina vlogs or even like my Instagram or Twitter name I wasn't planning on that being my YouTube channel name um, eventually I wanted to start building my brand and I just felt like using my first and last name that would be a good start i know a lot of people say that's not a good start because if you're trying to find jobs or sometimes you just don't want people to find you to me i don't really care i don't that might be bad to say but i i don't care who sees my stuff um this is me this is my life these are my vlogs so yeah second question where are you from um i was born in houston um I am in Texas now, but uh, most of my childhood I was raised in Kansas. My freshman year in high school, we actually moved back to Houston. Number three, why did you start a YouTube channel? So I recently graduated um, college and I feel like I have a, like, a lot of big plans for myself and a lot of goals. So I just feel like this would be a great way to document my journey. And just like friends and stuff like that, I've always been the one to record people and keep videos of us. And uh, it's just something fun to look back on. You know, I didn't really start it, it to um, to be a beauty guru, guru or to be like an influencer. This was honestly mainly uh, something I started for myself. Um, number four, what will your channel be about? My channel is mainly going to consist of vlogs and maybe like fun challenges, story times. Not gonna be doing any like makeup or i wouldn't really put my channel really in a category but if we had to i would just say vlogs number five who is your target audience so i feel like my target audience are gonna be people like me young girls brown girls or even just young adults people that just got out of college people that are interested in vlogs uh and someone that's not necessarily into channels that are like the typical channels like I wouldn't say I'm gonna be doing like a whole bunch of Sephora hauls or um, like you know Bath and Body Work hauls but just people that are that don't want the typical YouTube videos if that makes sense number six what do you hope to achieve with your channel I hope to achieve uh, more friends I hope I can network with more people I hope this can just be a hobby for myself because like I said, since I did graduate school, my time's gonna be free. I mean, I'm gonna be working full time. I just think this is something that's, I've always liked recording videos and I've always liked keeping this stuff for my friends. So I think this is just something that I can stay consistent with and uh, keep my time busy and just to constantly be uploading and just something to, um, to fill my time with. Number seven, top three favorite YouTube YouTubers. Ugh. Uh, I would say the Morio twins. I fucking love them. I love what they represent. They're all about family. They're all about themselves. They're all about encouraging each other and just pushing everyone. Um, and they're always lit. And I love that. Um, Jenny69. Uh, I would say she's Lulu, but that hoe hasn't been posting and I don't even know, like three months. But before that, I loved when she posts. I love her type of style. I love that she didn't care. Um, but since she doesn't really count for number three, I'm gonna say the Bram Fam, but originally they weren't the Bram Fam, it was Bramty Juliet, and then they turned into um, like a family YouTube channel, so I still like watching them. They just had two new twins, two pairs of, they just had twins, like at the end of December, so yeah. All right, anyways, number eight, who inspired you to start a channel? Um, I wouldn't really say, there was a certain person that inspired me to have a channel like I said I've, I had already been recording like a lot of videos 
and I would even like mash them all together and put music and send them to like my class sisters or my closest friends. Um, so really I think deep down I had always wanted to start a channel but I just was kind of scared. Um, back then I was kind of worried about what other people thought about me and now I mean I'm not gonna lie like part of me does still think that but overall like I really don't give a fuck about what people think about me. Um, people already kind of think bad about me so it's whatever. Like I said I wouldn't say really anybody inspired me around the time that I wanted to start one which was I wanted to start a channel honestly like two to three years ago um, and that was around the time when I discovered like Bramty Juliet and um, like vlogs honestly I didn't know what a vlog was like I didn't know people were actually making channels off of their vlogs and so to me the videos that was I was already making they were basically vlogs um, so yeah let me position this it's because the lighting is just kind of weird number 10 which channel already on YouTube will yours most likely be like um what the fuck I wouldn't really say there is a channel like mine um I would say maybe there's a few channels that do inspire me a bit um that I do want to be like um like the Morio twins she's Lulu trippy cat um just people honestly like I don't know I guess no one Next question. 11. What is your favorite and least favorite thing about the YouTube community? Okay, so I'm going to say my favorite thing already is just like how um, like fast people are there to like support you. Um, I don't have a lot of subscribers right now, but I had about like 20. I was staying around 20 and then eventually like I just started going out and looking at new videos and commenting on them and actually subscribing to them um, and eventually like they would show the love back so to me like right off the bat I think that's pretty great it's just the support that you can get as like a fresh new youtuber from other new youtubers but the least favorite thing I would have to say is with that there's a lot of people that like do the whole sub for sub and to me like if I'm gonna subscribe to your channel, like I'm when I have free time, I'm really gonna actually go and check out your videos and comment and like and stuff like that. So some people like would try to subscribe to me and say sub for sub, but to me it was just kind of like your channel is nothing like mine, which is fine. Someone there's an audience, there's someone out there that's gonna watch that, just like there's someone that's gonna watch me. But like let's just be real, like you're not gonna watch my videos, I'm not gonna watch your videos like let's just not do that so to me sometimes there is like fake love um just so they can get subscribers uh which i understand like everyone's trying to make it but it's probably just like the least favorite thing that i probably have about the youtube community number 12 what do you think you could bring to the youtube community well i honestly feel like i can inspire and motivate a lot of people um I mean, if I'm not your cup of tea, I understand, but I do feel like I have that type of energy to just be like, fuck it, let's do it, like, you can do it, what's the worst, what's the, what's the worst thing that's gonna happen, like, it's not gonna happen, alright, like, you're already living that, you know, and, and I just feel like with this channel, like, not only is it something for me, like, I'm gonna be, um, documenting my journey throughout my life and stuff like that, but I just think at the end of the day, like, I can be someone that you can watch and um, just someone that can be positive and just a reminder, just a smile and things are going to get better. It's, it's not going to be the end of the world all the time. Like, you're not going to be here forever. It's only up from here. So I think that that would be something. It's just some inspiration, some motivation. 13. What do you think the hardest thing will be about becoming a YouTuber? Um, I think get, gaining my audience would probably be the hardest thing. Uh, that's nothing that I'm worried about too much right now uh, but I think just just like everyone gaining subscribers and um, views um, yeah. number 14 what do you think the most rewarding thing will be networking I honestly love the fact that like some youtubers this is happening again Ugh. you're gonna have to go away sun sun all right this is fine right here okay no it's not but yeah back to networking um i love that some youtubers can be in new york and they gain uh, a youtuber friend like in california like i just not only for youtube 
I don't think it only just benefits for YouTube, but eventually like if they have a business or just something like it's just it's just nice just to have another friend or just someone that's in the same boat as you that's going through things like you. Um, you guys are there to support each other. 15. Do you see yourself being on YouTube for a long time? Yeah. Like even if I don't like I'm not trying to get big. I'm not trying to be some big old celebrity but i do see myself on youtube for a long time because like i said i've I had already been making videos for my friends like i had already been documenting my journey our memories and stuff like that so i don't think that'll ever stop um if no one watches it that's fine but it's something for me like i said at the end of the day this channel is going to be something for me something to docu document my journey um and it's not gonna stop until i get there so number 16 do you have any tips or advice for others who are just starting a youtube channel yes just do it i know i'm not a big youtuber right now and i don't have a lot of subscribers so i probably know when to be giving advice right now but to me like like i said i had already been wanting to make youtube for a few years now and i just wouldn't like i'd be like okay this month we're gonna do it next month we're gonna do it because like, I was just scared. No, I just think you need to put yourself out there. Like, the worst thing that's gonna happen is no one's gonna watch you. All right, delete the channel, that's fine. Like, just fuck it, just do it. Um, if you wanna do it, if it's something that's gonna make you happy, great, I think you should start it. And not just for YouTube, not just for a YouTube channel. I think if you wanna start a business, if you wanna start a podcast, if you wanna start a blog, if you wanna do something like, just, just do it. Like. At the end of the day, like you're the you're gonna be the one paying your bills. At the end of the day, you're the one gonna be the one that, that's making yourself happy. So don't don't worry about what other people think. I know it's hard, something hard to get over, but don't be scared. Let that fear like motivate you to do things. You know what I mean? So um, <sighs> yeah. So yeah, those are my questions. Those are the that's the new YouTuber tag. Um, hopefully, I'll be putting out more videos, more vlogs. Um, Maybe I'll do like a Q&A or something, but should be having some stuff pretty soon. My birthday's coming up, so birthday vlog. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.